Welcome back to Foxy TV episode 115. Now before we get going this week, I've got to give a special shout out to one of our team members, Cam, one of the removalists here at Foxy who broke his foot on the weekend playing football. So uh, that sucks for Cam. Um, he'll be out of action for a little while um, and we wish him a speedy recovery. And while Cam is recovering, I've been drafted into the truck a few days a week. So these episodes, these Foxy TV episodes, um, I'll do my best to, to make them as informative and entertaining as I can. However, they may not hit the, the heights of previous weeks just because I don't have quite the same amount of time uh, dedicated to each episode. However, in saying that, I do have the help of the team. Eva went out this week with Phoebe, with the camera, uh, to get some footage. So, um, yeah, no excuses, I suppose. These episodes will still be um, as informative and entertaining as ever. So in this week's episode, episode 115, we're heading back to Wynnum, where we couldn't finish the install last week because the ceilings were being painted. Uh, we are styling a narrow apartment and we have some answers to your questions. Let's start things off by heading to Phoebe at the warehouse, uh, who is going to give some context uh, to the Wynnum job. This is the one that Cody went to last week. You would have seen um, upon arrival, we went in and the ceiling's being painted. So as Janessa explained to everybody, we can't really um, install in that situation. Sometimes, and it's not nobody's fault, like we turned up thinking everything was great. The clients knew obviously they were gonna paint, the agents knew the painting was happening, and they just thought we could cover everything with, with um, some nice big sheets. But that can't happen because A, everything's brand new, B, you can't cover all the wall hangings, and C, it's, it's still everything's gonna be in the way. So we went back this week, as you would see on Foxy TV, and we've rest, um, restyled everything. So the clients have reached out to us, or actually the agent reached out to us for this one. This is a side-by-side -side new build. The one next door had been on the market for quite some time. This one's just been finished, and now we've styled it to get it on the market. So we have restyled it. The clients styled it themselves initially, um, using a different color palette. They used furniture that was available to them, and that was because we were in the middle of COVID. Furniture lead times were really, really tight, and, um, well, actually I shouldn't say tight, really, really long. And so they had to use what they had available to them. So we've been able to go in and style it using the right color palette, using uh, pieces that was a combination of brand new and pieces that, that I know were very well received on market. For us, this is actually a Foxy first class job. So it gives us the opportunity to really help these vendors without them having that, um, that risk, I guess, we take on the risk as part of Foxy First Class. The property had some um, unique characters, some things that we needed to direct from, some things that we need to emphasise, as with all properties. So, um, yeah, it was good to see it all come together. The building is freshly painted. Yeah. So we can now install. Yeah, and how's it going so far? Yeah, good. It's, um, it's a funny layout this one. It's a really big space, so trying to bring context to it. But it's, well, now all the furniture's in, it's coming together, it's going to be beautiful. We're now going to take you to an install in Tenerife, which uh, was a, an apartment that was very narrow. So definitely some extra considerations on this one. And you'll hear Phoebe explain uh, what she was thinking about when she was styling this one. And I must say a bit of an apology uh, for the sort of poor audio on this one. We have ordered an extra microphone. So hopefully that will be, that issue will be fixed uh, going forward. Hey guys, alright, so we are in Tenerife today. We've just done this two bedroom install. The room is right there, um, right in the main area of Tenerife. So, this is a pretty trendy area. So, we've gone for more of a trendy professional vibe than we have. I get it, does suit the monochromatic palette, palette does suit downsizer as well, um, but we've gone for more of a younger vibe. So, um, the reason. Well, this, the agent who's, done, who's doing this one, she very rarely lists anything vacant, so that's why she's got us through. Um, but the reason that this one benefits from styling um, significantly, as you'll see from the before and the afters, is the width of this unit. This, this unit is quite narrow, so if I do a, it's like two and a half metres wide for your usable space. Every unit, when you Google this complex, every single unit that's ever had furniture in it actually has the sofa positioned here, up against the back of the island, with your TV on this wall, which, I don't know how many of you would actually have an island, like you so far up against an island, but throw your head back, it's very easy to whack your head on here. It's also not 
like aesthetically very pleasing to walk in and actually have this space narrowed even further than what we would have had before. So that's why we position the sofa. So it's, it's all about positioning and it's all about the right size of furniture in a property like this. So two bedrooms, we have a smaller dining table, we've got a 90 centimetre round uh, glass top dining table. Three seats only, it's enough for, for a two seater, um, two bedroom house. So three bedrooms, four bedrooms, we need to get a six seater in, but this one is perfect for this number of um, beds. No bar stools, we don't actually have an overhang or anything. Are these cupboards? No, they're not cupboards. But we don't have an overhang, so it doesn't actually make sense to have a uh, bar stools there anyway. Then, when we come into the living space, I've actually foregone a couple of the items that you would standardly see. No entertainment units, we've got a hanging TV up on the wall, like you, you've mounted up on a bracket, so this is pretend TV doesn't work. Um, I've also foregone the uh, coffee table, because it, it, there is space here for us to have a coffee table, um, but if you think about, for in, in Brisbane at the moment, the numbers through open homes are quite high, so we've got to make sure we've got that flow, nobody's having to move out of the way of one another. If I have a coffee table here, I have to move to the side, let one group through, so then I can get back through to look out the other side. It makes it feel small and cramped. So getting rid of that, we've gone the side table instead, and then a two and a half seater sofa with the black armchair. The sofa, everything I've gone for is really light colour, so um, an oversized rug because it makes you feel a little bit more luxy, but it's cream. The sofa's brand new and white and from Globe West. I love it. Um, but it's all matching in with the black monochrome elements that we have throughout. So that's how we're making the floor plan work. We, we come in, we see the front of the sofa, we see the beautiful artwork rather than a TV on that wall, which then narrows this space, making us feel like it's cramped. We come through the bedroom. So this is a really cool, like it's, that slides, <laughs> and it comes through to here. So the fact that you can see this all open all throughout, that's what makes this work really nicely. We could have, hey, ring back. Hey, I ring, two seconds. Yeah, it's this um, we, the bed could have gone on this wall. There's PowerPoint on this wall for make it work, but as far as what we need for property styling, it needs to go into this nook that's on the side because otherwise we're walking in to a solid bed, like a solid surface, which makes this space feel, feel significantly smaller than walking into a block. So that's why we've done what we've done. The mirror, again, helps to reflect what's outside. So when you're in there, you're seeing the reflection rather than a piece of artwork, making everything just feel bigger and open. And we're going to finish things off with some Q&A. Some of these questions have been sitting in our Instagram messages for a couple of weeks now, so apologies to those people who we haven't been able to, to get around to answering these questions. Um, we do our best, but sometimes I get lost or forgotten and, and that's on me, so I'll, I'll do my best to try and keep them to the top of the list. So the questions we will be answering are around uh, what racking we use in the warehouse, how long it takes to style a two bedroom apartment and uh, how many staff are typically at a, a job like that and some information on what supplies we use um, which we get asked all the time um, so we have actually Eva and Phoebe have been working behind the scenes on a little project around that so stay tuned that'll be coming maybe next week um, so if, if it is I'll let you know on Foxy TV all right let's jump in to Q&A yeah, so we get these from my local supplier. Um, that particular question, that was from a US-based stylist. Yeah. Um, so ours are literally, they're based in Dara. Can't remember the name of them off the top of my head, but they are a form of pallet racking. So it's traditional, traditional pallet racking come without the shelves. And I've just asked them to incorporate the shelves. So um, <clears throat> they come as a package deal. You just get them as a, a length and you can get certain widths across. So, um, but they should be like Dexion, um, shelving, they're what, the blue and orange ones that you see everywhere, they have this version as well. So they, all different shelving suppliers should have this available as an option. Hi guys, I love your work, your videos on YouTube. It inspired me to start my own little home staging business in Canberra. Woohoo! It's going good. I'd, I'd really appreciate your help in directing me to some of the good supplies for wall art, paintings and furniture. All right. So there's a lot of things in there. Yeah. So let's start with the wall art side of things. Um, <clears throat> when I started out, I was using Rayel. Rayel, absolutely fantastic. They're actually based just around the corner from us. Um, at price point, they're wonderful. Um, they have become really, really popular. So now you need, they used to have everything available for me to go pick up the next day. Now you need to be onto it. They've got a pre-order system. So you need to be on to, you need to have a time frame basically to order them. 
Um, the other ones that now you're seeing more of our framed artwork coming through, we started using La Grolla. Um, we love um, everything. So the La Grolla's through the Brave um, Quinn & Co agency up here in Brisbane. There'll be a, a rep somewhere, whichever state that you're in. Um, otherwise you can order from La Grolla directly. Um, who else do I like getting artwork from? I do, if I need something short turnaround, I do go to Freedom. Some of their artwork is pretty good and, and not too badly priced. Um, I've been using stuff from Robert Mark. So they've got some really nice um, big canvas prints as well as, I'm just trying to look and tell you where some more of this art is from. Designer Boys is somewhere else I go all the time. Um, they do need a three week lead time. However, I just placed an order for about eight prints and they're gonna get it to me by Wednesday. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a number of suppliers that we will use. Uh, furniture, lots and lots of different suppliers. Canvas and Sasson, basically my biggest recommendation is to head to a gift fair, when, when they're back on, head to um, design and day, decor and design, or I didn't go to decor and design, I like to go to the Reed gift fair because I like to find the places where I can get the little side tables that are more like from the little giftware stores and the little suppliers rather than the bigger suppliers because bigger suppliers always have amazing websites. The smaller suppliers I like to go meet and actually see their tangible product because they're the ones that have more of a question mark over the quality. So I like the Reed gift fair. I go to it every year in Melbourne. Um, hopefully we'll be back on this year. Don't know, see how we're going. They're in lockdown already, but um, again, but yeah, so that's my biggest suggestion. But you'll find um, suppliers like um, Canvas and Sasson. I love Uniqua. I love um, cafe lighting and living. I like Mayfair lighting. I like, um, who else have I ordered from? There's some stuff here from my Luca Road. I've just um, signed up with Satara Living for outdoor stuff. We use Furniture Shack all the time. They've got an awesome trade um, program. We've got, I've got heaps, heaps of supplies. Temple and Webster, if I need something short turnaround. Unitex for all my rugs. Yeah, there's lots and lots of different options. How long an install for a two bedroom apartment generally takes and how many people do you use to do that size of a job. All right, so a two bed apartment for us, um, the process, if I break it down, you've got your, your quote, the quote generally takes 15 minutes or if I do it off a floor plan, it's also five minutes. Then you've got the selection side of things. We would give an hour to an hour and a half to do the selections for a two, a two bedroom property and that's from the very, the very start. It's not taking anything that's already pre-selected from another property. Then the installation side of things, in my head I give about an hour and a half to two hours for the installation, depending on access, if we need to have elevators, is a loading dock in a sensible spot? How far away can, can the truck clear the loading dock or do they have to park and walk everything a long way? Um, generally on a two bedroom apartment, generally on all of our installs, I try to have the girls in teams. I shouldn't say girls, I should say stylists. Um, have everybody partnered up in teams. It's, it's nicer, you have someone to talk to. It's safer when you're hanging on your artwork because you can do it in pairs. If you need to shift anything, workplace health and safety, it's a lot better for the ergonomic side of things. So generally we'll have two stylists and two removalists on site but more often than not at the moment, this one stylist and two removalists and boys help hang all the artwork before they head. So two hours in general. Do you ever have to cut and paste from properties that you've styled? Oh, how relevant, considering I said that. Sometimes yes, but most of the time no. At the moment, when we, have, we are really, really busy and we're at this position, at this point in time where we're doing a transition where we have this growth phase. So we're starting to do um, more installs currently than we have previously um, and <clears throat> We were going through this phase where everything was selling really quickly. So I was having heaps and heaps of stock here in the warehouse, which was awesome, awesome, fantastic. But now we're at that tricky point where I don't have enough of something and I want to draw it. So I don't go and take that one thing from a pack up. The entire pack up has to happen for us for me to be able to pull anything from it. But we may take that dining table spread. We might take that floor lamp. We may take the artwork, um, but the entire pack up has to happen. We don't just go and take one piece. And that's it for Foxy TV this week. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, yeah, as I mentioned at the start, at the top of the episode, uh, speedy recovery to Cam. I hope your foot gets better, mate. Um, everyone send well wishes that way. And uh, we'll see you back here next week.